good morning friends so today i am going to discuss these three organic reactions from reagent and named reaction chapter so first one i will start with so we have given this compound and in presence of h2o2 in base what will happen this is a, a conjugated uh, ketone alpha beta unsaturated ketone so this alpha beta unsaturated ketone in presence of h2o2 base so now goes a epoxidation reaction right so it will be epoxidation reaction in the next step we have given the sil nh and h2 that will form nh2 right what will happen then correct this one okay now we have given base then base will abstract this proton this proton we have abstracted by this base so base will abstract abstract this proton in presence of base happen on come here and this epoxide ring will open up fine so i'm doing it here epoxide ring gets opened up now since to side is a good living group what will happen this lone pair will push here and to side will leave what happens this turn will push here this bond will form a triple bond and this n2 will get evolved so n2 is a stable species so it is the driving force for this step the evolution of the n2 right so what is going to happen so we are getting sorry we are getting like this keto group with triple bond like this now we have given hydrogen palladium calcium chloride quaternary so this is basically the lindlar catalyst right so what lindlar catalyst does it reduces the triple bond to a double bond with a cis configuration so if we are given uh, sodium liquid ammonia uh, then it will batch reduction that, that will uh, form a trans type of double bond but here it is a lindlar catalyst so we are given lindlar catalyst so it will form a cis product This is the cis double bond. So this is the final product. So the answer will be this one, right? Okay. So proceed to the next one. So this one. So you have given a cyclohexanone. first step we have given grignard reaction reagent so ph ng pr so this is like this so it will attack the carbonyl carbon fine 
and a full form. Okay. Right. So it will form OMG bar and then in if you work up it will form OH. So next step, so we are adding tocyl hydrogen. Tocyl hydroxide, okay. So tocyl hydroxide it will form it will basically form here OTS right here final fine. Now what happens? This proton this is both any one proton, take this proton here. This undergoes elimination. Right to form this product, silkin type product. So A will be this one. This is your A. Fine. Then we are given a diboren or boron BH3 in presence of H2O2. Now what will happen? It undergoes hydroboration oxidation reaction. So as you know that hydroboration in hydroboration oxidation reaction this boron prefers a less hindered site so it will prefer this site boron will prefer this site and OH will form in this side only so what will happen in hydroboration oxidation after you do HBO reaction hydroboration oxidation reaction it will form like this fine next what happens Next we are giving PCC. PCC is a oxidizing agent. So it will oxidize the alcohol to a ketone. So ketone is formed. Right. Now we are adding MCPBA. Metachloroparabenzoic acid. So here we have ketone, here we have a uh, par acid. So what will happen? It's a bar religion oxidation. So bar religion oxidation. So where the O will insert? So this is a tertiary carbon. This and this is a secondary carbon. So always tertiary carbon has more migratory aptitude than the secondary carbon. So the, since the tertiary carbon has a more migratory aptitude, so the O will get inserted here because the tertiary group will uh, attack the O. The tertiary group will migrate to the oxygen. So what will happen then? One, two, three, four, five. So this is the final product. It's a seven member ring with a heteroid right. Okay. So this is our B. Fine. And the next reaction that is the next one. It's very simple based on the reduction and then cyclization. Now as you all know that lithium aluminum hydride is a strong reducing agent so it will reduce both the ester as well as the acid okay so there is some selective reduce redu reducing agent for acid as well as for uh, ester so for acid for selective reduction of acid we use boron Diboron, like B2H6 or BH3. Fine. And for selective reduction of A star, we use lithium borohydride, not not aluminium hydride, because lithium aluminium hydride is a very strong reducing agent which can reduce. 
both the ester as well as the acid. Now, just knowing this concept, just we are putting this concept here. So let's see here there is no change in stereochemistry, fine. Right? Only the position of the keto group has changed. So what happens here? Say this right side we are getting an alcohol type, right? So right side we are getting alcohol means we are reducing this one, this acid first here. Then that alcohol attacks here to form this side as keto like this. So if we do the mechanism, say, so if we want to reduce the acid, let's say we use chlorine. What happens? So this will form OH. And this is our ester, and this uh, let's say this piece here. Okay. So what happens? This attacks here. This leaves. So we are getting this product, right? So this is same as this one. So this B, the reagent B will be BH3, right? Reagent B will be BH3. And here you see, in this type, if we use lithium borohydride, then what will happen? This ester will convert, will get converted to alcohol. Then what happens if this becomes alcohol? So if this alcohol forms uh, this attacks here, and there will be a keto group over here. So keto group will be over here. So since we are reducing this one selectively in this step, so A will be lithium borohydride. So clear. So this type of reactions are very uh, easy and if you know the mechanism and if you know some selective reagents, uh, it's very easy uh, to cope up with these type of reactions. So that's all for my video. In the next lecture, I will upload, I will uh, give some more examples of this kind of reactions. Thank you for watching.